Hi, Jessica. Okay, so you get the, is that like a Ouija board image there? It's pretty much pointing me to about, but I'm going to go to home and see if that's any different. Okay, well, one thing I can suggest right off the bat is whenever you're on that page, give the viewer some indication that they are there. Like home, you might have an underline underneath it or something. Okay, so this is basically what we're working on here. Nice rollover that's very satisfying. Everybody should have rollovers. And the purple um, is complementary to your black. So one thing I can suggest, if they don't all start in the exact same place, or they're perfectly, they're not perfectly centered, do that. It'll just look tighter. All right. Um, all right. So if you look at my computer, my view, there is very, very very slight indication of where this stops and starts. Uh, color pencil on, dark, on black drawing paper. Perhaps give it a very, very light border so people can see what the composition was. All right, so you're going to make the viewer go back to the portfolio instead of the next button. It might be um, a little more user friendly to have next buttons because pretty soon they're going to get tired of having to go back to the original thing and then back again. If you just look at some professional portfolios you'll see the majority of them have sort of a slideshow. That might be how you want to handle it. So you can have your home grid and then any of these will go to a slideshow because honestly you know, art directors just want to click through it and see if, if you're dependable, if you show an attention to detail, and if you're competent. If you can handle it, um, you know, give these buttons um, over states as well. Just, you know, this is very satisfying. It's a good picture of you. You might want to consider bringing that into Photoshop and increase the brightness just a little bit. Um, as far as shop is concerned, I don't know what you want to do with that, what you're selling. Um, contact, if you can get in there and um, set the type to, well, it, you've already got serif, so that's good. Sans serif usually looks pretty good, but you've got serif throughout, so that makes sense. All right, so, so far so good. Those are my suggestions. Um, final suggestion, if you have more work to finish out this grid, it would look um, real tight and more complete. Otherwise consider putting these sort of in the middle. Just a thought. Let me know if you have any questions.